Are you facing a difficult disease, an illness, and want to cry out to God for healing, but do not know what to pray? Most individuals at any given time know at least a handful of people who are battling an illness of some kind. Whether the ailment is physical, mental, spiritual, or emotional, praying for healing as well as strength to cope is a productive, common response. The Bible tells us the earnest prayer of a righteous person has good power and produces wonderful results. James 5 verse 16. And in Isaiah 53 verse 5, the Bible tells us, But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. Chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripe we are healed. The Bible speaks often of a miraculous healing through the work of Jesus Christ and faith in God. Our Lord is able to provide comfort and healing for you and your loved ones. When you are overwhelmed with health problems, bad news, or relationship struggles, the Word of God can be your source of supernatural help. Do not give up. God promises great things in store. Praying for healing and recovery is necessary when one is passing through difficulties, more especially health challenges. The Bible tells us to pray for healing from God, and we will be blessed with health and strength to overcome whatever pain we face. May we seek healing from God whenever we are sick or depressed, and know that He will comfort our mind, our body, and spirit. Divine healing is as real today as it was in the book of Acts. Jesus is the same today, yesterday, and forever. In Mark 16, verse 17 through 18, Jesus says, These signs will accompany those who believe. They will cast out demons in my name, and they will speak no languages. They will be able to handle snakes with safety, and if they drink anything poisonous, it will not hurt them. They will be able to place their hands on the sick and heal them. Jeremiah 17, verse 14, the Bible tells us, Heal me, Lord, and I will be healed. Save me, and I will be saved for you are the one I praise. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for salvation, the greatest miracle of all. Thank you for your eternal love and unmerited grace. Thank you for sending your son Jesus to break the power of the devil and to bring us hope, health, and healing. We give thanks because you are near. People everywhere will tell of your wonderful deeds. Lord, you are good and your unfailing love endures forever. You are great and you perform wonderful deeds. You alone are God, how great are your signs and how powerful are your wonders. Lord, you are high above all the nations. Your glory is higher than the heavens. Who can compare with you, our God, who is enthroned on high? Father, you brought Israel out of Egypt with signs and wonders, with a strong hand and powerful arm. Jesus did many other things in the presence of his disciples so that we could believe that he is the Christ, the Son of God, and have life in his name. We believe Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Therefore, Father, we expect you to display your glory in the lives of those people who need healing and deliverance. With you, Father, nothing is impossible. We expect disease to be dissolved, broken relationships to be mended, and those who are held captive in their mind and soul to be set free. As we pray for those in need of healing, we confess that your healing power will operate through us. In Jesus' name, we declare healing for the people you know who needs it and who are righteous. Please help us to be bolder about praying for healing. Help those in need of healing to trust in you with all their hearts and not to depend on their own understanding. Holy Spirit, please open the eyes of their understanding so that they will understand the confident hope giving to those Christ has called. Remind people to look to you for help, strength, and power. Father, cause your healing power to be experienced throughout our community in our churches. Merciful Father, forgive those people who have doubted your word and your works. Forgive them for acting godly, but denying your power to perform healings, signs, and wonders in their lives and in the lives of others. Lord, please forgive them and restore to them the joy of your salvation. Forgive me, Holy Spirit. Remind those people who need physical healing and deliverance to forgive others, and please help them to forgive. As for me, Holy Spirit, Bring to my remembrance those I need to forgive. Father, help us to not heal to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, you are the mighty. Only you can open the eyes of the blinds and unplug the ears of the deaf. You cause the lame to leap like deer and those who cannot speak to sing for joy. 
You cause spring to gush forth in the wilderness and streams of water in the wastelands. You cause the parched land to become a pool of springs of water to satisfy the thirsty land. Heavenly Father, I praise and thank you for your never failing love towards me. Even when I was lost in sin and without hope in the world, you looked down and gently called me out to be your child, even though I was rebellious and relentless. Lord, you know that partly due to not caring for myself and partly for no other reason that we live in a fallen world, people are suffering from debilitating sicknesses. I ask that you graciously look down on them and pick them up again and heal them in body as well as in spirit as you did once before. Thank you for dying for us to pay the price for our sins and thank you that you were wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquities and that by your stripes we are healed. Lord, I know that this body of mine is only going to be deteriorating more and more as I get older. But I do pray that in your grace and mercy from unpleasant sickness that we may be going through at the moment and give us relief and healing. Lord, I do pray that you will set me free from this debilitating sickness. I know that my life here is but for a fleeting moment in the economy of eternity. And I know that you have given me eternal life for which I praise and thank you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and may I never forget your gracious benefits, for you are the divine physician and are able to touch every part of our lives with your redeeming love. Lord, we live in a fallen world, and each one of us needs your healing touch in so many ways on our lives, and none of us are immune from sickness and suffering, and so I come to you today to ask for your healing touch in every area of our lives. Lord, I know that sickness and suffering, pain and death is a reality of life, for in this world we will have tribulation, and yet a life that is surrendered to you is one that is able to give thanks to you in everything, knowing that you are able and willing to be with us and uphold us in every area of life, for your grace is sufficient in all and every situation. Lord, I believe this to be true, for your word is faithful and true. You are able to heal every manner of disease and sickness, and so I pray for your healing touch in every area of my life, and in the lives of all whom I love, body and soul, as well as spirit. But Lord, I also know that you often permit sickness and suffering in an amazing way to draw us closer to you. Lord, I give you my life and surrender all to you, for I desire the full and total healing, the sort of healing that brings glory to you. Thank you that I am your child and you are the great and mighty physician. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and may I never forget your gracious benefits for you pardon all my iniquities, heal all my diseases, have redeemed my life from the pit, and have crowned me with loving kindness and tenderness. Thank you, Father. Precious Lord, I thank you that you are my Savior, and that you have redeemed me from the kingdom of darkness into your glorious kingdom of light. Lord, I know that your word tells us that the joy of the Lord is our strength, and that a joyful heart is a good and healing medicine. Lord, I know that you are a miracle-working God, and that the greatest miracle of all that you have wrought in me is my great salvation in Jesus Christ who died for me so that I might be forgiving for my sins and have everlasting life. But I also ask that you send your mighty healing power into my body during the time of illness that I am currently going through. Father, I pray that you will touch every organ or ligament on my body, every joint and cell, and restore me to full health and strength. But I also pray that during my sickness, you will touch my heart and fill it up with your love, your grace, and your joy, for in you is the fullness of joy. Lord, you alone can flood a sick body with healing, and you alone can overflow a heart with joy and peace. And so I rest my soul in you, and thank you for all the healing of body and soul that I know you are working within me, in Jesus' mighty name. Heavenly Father, I lift up those of your people who are sick tonight, Visit them in mercies and compassion, Lord. Heal them tonight, Father. Take from them and from us all sickness and all disease. Raise up and comfort those who have long in disease. Set free all those who are vexed and with unclean spirit. Those who are in prisons or in exile or captivity or held in better bondage. O oh Lord, set them all free and have mercy on them. To every soul that is in affliction and that is oppressed, give mercy, give rest, give refreshment, give help. And for us also, O Lord, heal the sickness of our souls, cure the sickness of our bodies, O physicians of our soul and our bodies, overseer of all flesh, heal us, O Lord. Abba, Father, our God, we thank you and praise your glorious name. 
We thank you for saving us through the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that through Jesus' sacrifice, the devil has been defeated and we have been given victory. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who is greater than any spirit who lives in this world. You are our strength and our song. You have given us victory. You are our God and we praise and exalt you. You alone are our God, the only one who is worthy of our praise, the one who does mighty miracles that we have witnessed with our own eyes. For you, Lord, have rescued us from the kingdom of darkness and transferred us into the kingdom of your dear Son. Father God, we confess that those of us who are weary and who carry heavy burdens will come to you and find rest. As we humble ourselves before you, Lord, resist the devil, he will flee from us. We come close to you, Father, so that you will come close to us. We wash our hands and purify our hearts so that our loyalty will no longer be divided between you and the world. We will no longer allow sins to control the way we live or give in to sinful desires. We give ourselves completely to you, God, for we were once dead to sin, but now because of Jesus Christ, we have a new life. Merciful Father, creating all of us clean hearts and renew royal spirit in each of us, remind us to hate evil and love what is good. Holy Spirit, remind those of us who are in bondage that the Lord's arm is not too weak to save us, nor is his ear too deaf to hear us when we call on him. Circumcise our hearts and remove the scale from our eyes so that when we cry out to the Father for deliverance, we will expect him to hear and to answer. Help us to identify actions to help us to separate from people, places, and situations that will attempt to pull us back into bondage. Surround us with godly friends. Remind us that nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from God's love that has been revealed through our Lord Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, bring to my remembrance areas in my life that have me and my family in bondage. Show me those areas in which I am influencing others to violate God's commitment so that I might earnestly pray for deliverance. We admit that we are sometimes a stubborn and rebellious people. But please forgive our iniquity and our sins. Forgive those of us who have trusted and depending on anyone or anything other than you. Forgive those of us who have become hopeless due to our bondage and help us to find hope again. As your children, Father, forgive us for not forgiving the people who introduce behaviors that later ensnare us. Lord, forgive us for all the sins that we have committed. Holy Spirit, remind us of all those we need to forgive and help us to be quick to forgive. As for me, Holy Spirit, bring to my remembrance those I need to forgive. Holy Spirit, help us not to yield to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. As your name deserves, O oh God, you will be praised to the end of the earth. Your strong right hand is filled with victory. You are awesome in your sanctuary. God of Israel, you give power and strength to your people. Praise be to our God, in the name of your Son and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.